In this video, we're going to do an exam question on proving that if uh, a function is concave and have a look at points of inflection. So here it says the curve C has that equation there, y equals x cubed plus 6x squared minus 12x plus 6. Show sure that C is concave on the interval minus 5 minus 3. Well, first of all, let's try and find where the function is concave. So we need the second differential. So the first differential, dy by dx, equals 3x squared plus 12x minus 12. Differentiating again, d2y by dx squared equals 6x plus 12. And we want where that is less than 0. The definition of concave is that the second differential is less than zero. We we'll had a look at that in one of our previous videos, the introduction to convex and concave functions. So have a look at that if you're unsure. Right, now solving this, we get 6x is less than minus 12, which means that x is less than minus 2. Therefore, function is concave when x is less than minus 2, therefore, must be concave in the region given minus 5 to minus 3, since that's contained within the region x less than minus 2. So part b, find the coordinates of the point of inflection. Well, we're given just label that one up there part A as well. We're given that there is a point of inflection. So the point of inflection occurs when the second differential is equal to zero. So we've worked out that d2y by dx squared equals 6x plus 12, which must equal zero, which means 6x equals minus 12, which means that x equals minus 12 over 6 equals minus 2. So that's the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate equals, well, summing it back into the coordinate equation, minus 2 cubed plus 6 lots of minus 2 squared minus 12 lots of minus 2 plus 6 equals, so putting this in the calculator, minus 2 cubed plus 6 lots of minus 2 squared minus 12 lots of minus 2 plus 6 equals 46. Therefore, point of inflection at minus 2, 46. It didn't ask us to classify the point of inflection. It didn't ask us to prove that it was a point of inflection. It told us there was a point of inflection and there was only one solution, so that must be it. There's no further proving to do. For more videos like this, go to a-levelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.